Hello, it's been a long time. I brush my teeth and count up. Hi guys. <laughs> never too late to start because that's what has people that's what has people messing up a lot of the time i just need to change and it's never too late to change because when you get obsessed with like the timing or being a perfectionist like okay if i fucked up in this one thing like fuck it i'll just try again next week what's going on I know that this is constantly used as a meme and stuff, but for real, this is real pain. And I understand this guy's pain to a T. And then something goes wrong again. Oh, I'll try again next week. And we, I don't know about we, but I tend to get into that pattern where if shit isn't going right, I'll just leave it alone and try again next time. It's okay if things are going wrong. I'm still gonna try. Right now I look like this. And I'm still out here making a video because I was like, let's just be real. And you know, she's still cute. I'm big, big. I don't even wanna say my age. I won't say my age. Honestly, like I've hit a midlife crisis. I literally had a birthday cake and I was like, listen, do not put my age on the birthday cake. Just write happy birthday because like, I can't come to grips with how old I'm getting, I still don't have certain things set up in my life that I wanted at this point. But you know, like, you just gotta roll with the punches. Sometimes things don't work out the way you want them to, and that's okay. That's literally all I'm telling myself. It's okay. It's okay. It's not that deep. Like, you will be fine. I need to stop letting, like, anxiety take control of my whole entire situation with everything. So I'm just like... It's okay, writing down some of the stuff that I need to get done. And I'm gonna recommend for anyone that's like me, you have a lot of like ideas in your head. Okay, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. But if your head is constantly going like this, you get so lost in the things that you told yourself you were gonna do and like other things pop up and it's just easier, let me tell you, write it down. You can look at it every day and just start crossing things off or making plans for how I'm gonna cross this goal off. So that's what I have here. For starters, I feel like just try and attempt to find myself. Like, I know who I am and I know what stuff I like, but it's just like actually doing that or trying to do that. I feel like a lot of the times I am too scared to try things because I'm like, oh, mm -hmm, it's gonna like not work out anyways because you're dumb and anything that you do, you're gonna fail. So, you know, I'm trying to not tell myself that anymore and just, wow, I look crazy. But yeah, okay, let's start. Let's start right now. First things first, look at this bed. It's not looking too hot. Oh wow, now it's blurry. Not even blurry. Okay, I've had this since. I think this is from 2007. It's cute or whatever, but not for my vision. So we're gonna get rid of this right now. Okay, now, Whee! since I discarded that, what are we left with? This looks really, um, really vintage. It's giving cute vintage vibes. So we're gonna have to get rid of this too. And I got this from Amazon cause you know, the picture was looking really, really nice. Can't even open that. So I need a knife. Up the stairs, up the stairs. I look like a killer. Okay. Can I prop up this camera somewhere? Wow, oh my gosh, I look like a, a real YouTuber or something. Let's see what we're dealing with here. This is probably gonna have to be parts of like, what should I call this? I don't know. Getting my life together. It's never too late. Okay. Okay. They really packaged this really nice and I feel like I got a queen. So I'm like, how are you guys fitting this big, big blanket in here? Cause the picture, let me tell you, it looked 
huge, like one of those huge fluffy blankets. Wee! Okay. Yeah, they really vacuum sealed this one. Oh my god, you guys see that? It's literally getting bigger. That was so cool. I love that sound. That was so freaking cool. Focus. Oh, okay. These are the two pillowcases. Oh, I love white bedding. I'm just a whore for white bedding because it feels like I'm at like a hotel or something. Oh my god. Oh, I love it already. <laughs> my room looks so much brighter. Okay. Oh my god, this is so weird. So how's everyone's day? Long time no see. There's been a lot going on, let me tell you a lot. But for the first time right now, it just feels like there's nothing going on, so. But I should always be doing stuff, even if there's a lot going on in my life. I need to stop having excuses for myself. Cause that's not good. I feel like I always do that to get out of things. And it's crazy. <laughs> Because someone um, that I was talking to the other day was basically saying how I always make excuses and how I need to be on my shit and how I need to be posting and this and that. And I was like, yeah, I know, but I know about this, but that. And then they were like, I literally want to send you something, but I don't want you to catch feelings. And I was like, what am I going to catch feelings about? Like... Tell me, I want to know. I want to know how you're going to diss me right now. So just tell me. And then he sent me it. And I was like, damn. And maybe they thought I wasn't thinking about it. But I actually was thinking about it. And I was like, you know what? This person is absolutely right. They are right. And I appreciate people for telling me about myself. Like, I don't need a bunch of yes people around me being like, oh yeah. <laughs> like no bitch get the fuck up get off your ass and get your life together come on and do this but i want to see if like this change will initiate more change for myself you know and i feel like it's also a good transition because i want to move out on my own you know, as Cuban doll said, and you know, when she said this line, it really got to my head. And I will never ever forget this line. Still living with your mama, you ain't hopped off your ass, bitch. I know, Cuban doll, I know I haven't hopped off my ass. And at my big, big age, I'm sorry for disappointing you, but it's very hard out here. Oh my God, my voice. It's very hard out here. Rent is very expensive, let me tell you. If you know about the GTA, you know. But it's okay, because business ideas, a lot of things Tripping are going to happen. Overly thinking. Right. And I just got to well, start got a real plan. believing right. in myself. When I signed, I signed my first, when I signed my first deal, I signed the most fucked up deal in the world. Right. I don't know, damn, I just need the right. I had the plan. Right. You know, it's the delusional imposters that get stuff done. Okay. Even if you don't know, learn. Take the time and learn. Pretend you know until you know. Oh my gosh, my bed is looking so cute. Okay. <clears throat> oh my god, guys, I think I'm getting sick. Wanna see? So this is what we're looking like right now. I just also wanted to add that productivity does not equate to self-worth. You just surviving and getting through the day is enough, okay? So don't forget that. Trying to be an organization queen. A lot of TikTokers do this with one hand. Look at her. She's so freaking pretty. This is what the parents are giving. I feel like they make my ass look good. I feel like one thing about us girls is we need music when we get ready. And today was a dance hall day, and look at the difference. Can you see the difference it makes? Lashes. This is what I get for using hair glue on my eye. This is exactly why um, I don't like putting on my makeup before I put my eyelashes.
Oh my god, I have a beauty blender. I'm an idiot. I have this lip gloss. I think it's my mom's that I stole. But I feel like this color is just like... You're gonna see. That's so pink. It's so pink. I don't know if I like it or not. Ugh. Lashes and gloss and earrings. I just feel like a different person. Like, You guys remember that girl you saw a couple minutes ago? I think this is not the same person. This is a whole different girl. Based on how you feel... And I don't want this to be the case, but like, I feel like it's just the case. Like, if you feel ugly, sometimes you just feel so not motivated. Like, you don't want to go out. Let's see what else I got for this room. I also built this shelf last minute that I got from Dollarama. Because I need places to put stuff. This is a desk that I also built. It's crazy. I got this off Facebook Marketplace. And I also just love looking out of this window. It's just really peaceful. This closet has like stuff from when i was young young like look at this i used to rock this thinking that i was the baddest bitch alive like the baddest bitch to ever walk the earth oh my god do you know what this is oh wait it isn't why did i think this was darion it looked like it but i also put some stuff in here that i just bought one day okay open these up okay A lot of foam, but see, it's like a little mirror tray thing. See, it's so cute. Hi. Now it's time to clean out my closet, wash yeah, my bum. Okay. When I but a lot of stuff I needed weight, to get rid of. This is, is the, the stuff goal. that my fill out neighbor donated to me you know? from like God knows yeah. what year, like maybe two thousand and seven. These shorts also. No, it's a skirt. And everyone is loving their denim skirts, but I'm gonna show you how it just does not look good on me, okay? Like what? Okay, you saw how it was looking in the shorts, right? Now look in the skirt. Where did my ass disappear to? It disappeared. It's gone with the wind. It said goodbye. Yeah, no, this, I look like a box. It's so boxy. No, 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 no. I would want like the denim skirts that kind of flare out and they're like super short and cute. Like this is just, Guys, the belt! Such a throwback, look at this. You know, some girl in 2007 was walking around with this in the club when everyone used to wear business casual to the clubs. I'm really a 2000s girly at heart. As much as I make fun of that era right now, like it's my favorite era. Life was just so good back then. And then it all went downhill after 2013, pretty much. I don't know where I'm going with the color, Just trying. but I love the way they fit. And they end around here. This is so 2000s, like so. Okay, so this is my room now. Don't mind my little bar I have over there. Put my notebook and I have this like weekly planner thing. Yeah, guys. And now I'm gonna get ready to go bowling. I'm actually, I'm really excited. It's time to do some stuff and network and connect and stop like disassociating and like hiding from everyone. It's so crazy, I'm in school for communication and I'm like the worst person at communicating. Like sometimes if I don't wanna talk, I just won't talk to anyone. And I'll just like isolate myself. But I need to stop doing that. It's not cute. It's not good. Sometimes it's necessary, but I don't want to be that way anymore. So we're gonna see. Time to socialize right now. Bye. Say hi, guys. That's a beautiful angle. I was trying to get her to do it, but honestly, yeah, I advise people that have nails on to be careful. I 
11, just going for the heavier one. How do you feel? <laughs> yeah, you suck. I'm gonna no fucking good. roll you down Some other advice I could give when you're feeling lost and stuck, just know it's gonna be okay. And also take some time to just be outside, go see your friends, be with the people you love, and have fun.